Uh, I think it's you know really interesting living in this area where you live next to a culture that although the people are like the rest of us, their culture is so much different. They believe in living in the world but not of the world and so they try to stay separate, not dependent on the outside world. You know, I think that's really interesting that they can make, a, make it work because uh, in this modern world where things are getting more technical all the time, the gap between the Amish and the rest of us is getting wider. Rich Bishop with uh, Amish Tours of Harmony. The uh, Amish in the Harmony area are what they consider old order Amish. That means they have no electricity, no telephones. The only uh, running water they have is cold water in the kitchen, otherwise they don't have any indoor plumbing. The Amish began coming to the Harmony area in 1974. They came from Wayne County, Ohio. Uh, the land prices in Ohio were getting quite high and uh, they were being crowded out by urbanization and their community was growing, so they wanted land that was similar to where they came from. Young children, when they first start school, uh, usually do not speak any English. Uh, they speak German at home as their first language. So when they start school, they are taught both to read and write in both German and in English. So for that reason, they call everyone else English uh, because we speak English. So if you're not Amish, you're English. Amish first came to the Harmony area, uh, almost all of them were farmers. Uh, today, fewer and fewer are farming, and a large part of that is due to Minnesota no longer accepts grade B milk. Our stop up here is uh, uh, a family that, uh, he makes furniture, he makes some really nice things. Uh, they sell directly off the farm here. It's countryside furniture. And it's, it's the name of his business. When you hear Amish furniture, you associate that with quality. You know, it, it's definitely built with real wood. It's a higher grade of furniture. I have a, about a 40 horse diesel engine and there's a shaft that runs through the shop under the floor. Then just with belts and pulleys, I have to uh, figure out each machine has to run at a certain speed. So my engine will run around 2,000 RPM and uh, then I have to figure out from there what size pulleys I want to use. And at first I thought it would be quite a challenge but once you get started on it and know the formula how to figure it out it, it's fairly easy from there. They do use stationary gas and diesel engines for running uh, stationary machinery like uh, uh, stationary hay balers or uh, pumping water or running woodworking equipment. They do not use any motorized equipment out on their fields though. Uh, they will strictly use horses. The reason they come here for furniture is because they can meet the guy that actually builds it. They're not used to our lifestyle and they, they enjoy coming to the builder and uh, getting to know me.
I'm used to people asking me questions on how we live, so, and I can see why. They're, they're always wondering, and uh, we don't, I guess we don't advertise too much the way we live. It's getting to be quite a bit out there anymore. So, uh, the more information you have on us, or the more it's out there, the less unique we will be. <laughs> My, my grandparents were one of the first people to move out here. They maybe moved in, in 75. I'm not quite sure, uh, was it 74 or 75? Um, and then my parents decided we're gonna move out here too from Ohio and, uh, and uh, that was in 85 then. It was a nice area, I guess, for farming. That was the main reason why they settled into this area. The first people that came around here, you know, that were out looking for a place to move to, stopped here because they thought this would be a good place for us to farm. I grew up Amish and uh, for somebody that never was Amish and grows Amish, I have no way of uh, telling you what that guy would have to go through. <laughs> and there's no way I will ever be able to. But I, I imagine it would be pretty tough. You know, as far as the simple things as far for you having a bathroom in the house, that would be definitely be a big change and uh, not having a phone or, or electric or as far as if he'd want to use the microwave, uh, there is no way to quickly heat up a cup of coffee. Unless you got hot water and the stove going, you can do it. There's also a lot of things that I don't envy you guys for what you have on a lot of things I guess. We also we do have our uh, hectic, it seems hectic for us too, but <laughs> you guys have another level uh, on that one on us. But I don't, you are people just like we are. We're all humans and the older I get the more I realize it. <laughs>